In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Very good morning, everyone. We continue our Easter journey as we pause now to acknowledge our sinfulness and ask the Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, encompass your family with perpetual help, so that, defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both Gentiles and the Jews, together with their leaders, to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Lyconian cities, cities of Lystra and Derbe, and to the surrounding countryside, where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra, there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up, straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they cried out in Lyconian, the gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance of the city, brought in oxen and garlands to the gates, for he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news, that you should turn from these idols to the living God, who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed the Gentiles to go their own ways. Yet, in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness. For he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering the sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not, Not to us, us, O Lord, but, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory because of your mercy, because of your truth. Why should the pagans say, where is their God? Not, not to us, O Lord, but to your name give glory. <clears throat> Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. Not, not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. 
May you be blessed by the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not to, to us, us, O Lord, but to your name give you the glory. May the Lord be upon your heart and upon your lips that you may worthily proclaim this holy gospel in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word. My Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you, the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. He will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Paul and Barnabas and the apostles who went out to preach the good news themselves must have had a good sense of self-esteem and self-confidence in the Lord because so much of their ministry uh, they receive the derision of those to whom they go to preach. In today's uh, first reading, we hear where Barnabas and Paul hightail it out of town, fearing for their lives. And they arrive at a place where finally uh, they're accepted uh, in a big way. Paul heals this poor man, and the people proclaim them gods, Zeus, and Hermes, and uh, perhaps our natural human tendency, if we were Paul or Barnabas, hey, this is great. I'm not going anywhere else. I'm going to stay right here where I'm respected and adulated and so on. And yet, uh, their mission was to proclaim the good news to all peoples. And so, once again, they put themselves at risk by going out and bringing that good news uh, to others. Today's gospel really reminds us what discipleship is about and what it means to belong to the Lord. Jesus says, if you love me, you will follow my commandments, and then the Father will love you, and we will make our dwelling place in you. What a powerful statement from our Lord, that as we endeavor to follow the commandments that he has given to us, that uh, it's not only a sign of our love for him, but it's the promise that he and the Father will make their dwelling place within us. Sometimes we are called to leave our comfort zone where um, we might feel a certain complacency in our faith. You know, to proclaim the good news, to live uh, the good news by 
going above and beyond what we might even consider is adequate uh, in, in life. So, you know, sometimes our complacency in faith is uh, one of our biggest dangers. We, we might think, well, how I live, what I do, it's good enough. Perhaps the Lord is calling me to a deeper faith and a deeper sense of commitment and a deeper sense of action in my life as uh, his disciples. So as the verse from the Responsorial Psalm reminded us today, not to us, but to you, God, we give the glory. We bring our needs before our Almighty God with confidence that our prayers will be heard and answered. That our church leaders may be conformed by Christ evermore into his image and their preaching of the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The leaders of nations and peoples may be guided by the generous and compassionate hand of God in all they do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are living without religious freedom may be filled with courage through the grace of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That those in this faith community may be drawn closer to the Lord in His fullness through the grace of the sacraments. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may know the glory of God and rest in eternal peace in His side. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear God. our prayer. For all those we remember in the Mother's Day Novena, both living and deceased, and for all those intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer for vocations to the priesthood of religious life, for those who have asked for our prayer, for those who have no one to remember them today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Generous and merciful God, we ask that you listen to the prayers we place before you today. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. 
He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, so that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain the inheritance with your elect. Especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Julie Billiard, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of the family that you have gathered here before you this day. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, 
through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. On this day, we always peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On this day, we always peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On this day, we always beg at a mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing and peace of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Descend upon you all today and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.